What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 3 of tutorial series on deploying the Flask application on the EC2 instance with Docker. In the previous tutorial, we had created Docker file for the Flask application as you can see on my screen. And now in this tutorial, we are going to create Docker Compose file, right? So in simple terms, uh, the Docker Compose file is the YAML or YML file. Uh, which is generally used for defining services, networks and volumes, right? So moving along, uh, so this was our directory structure, uh, as you can see in the left panel, right? So we are going to create docker compose file outside flask app hyphen docker directory, right? So I'm going to create a new file over here and I will save it as docker-compose.yml or it can be yaml right so save this file so basically uh, docker compose file starts with the version so we are going to say version colon single code 3 right so basically, uh, the version depends on the Docker engine, right? So Docker Compose file has its own version. You can uh, read through the documentation that which version support which Docker engine, right? So just go through the uh, Docker documentation or the Docker Compose documentation, right? And you will get to know about the version, right? So basically the first or the very first line in the docker compose file is going to be the version i think 3.7 is the latest right so you can define 3.7 depends on the docker engine version you have right so moving along then uh, it is followed by services so it's going to be services colon so basically uh the service definition or the services definition contains configuration that is being applied to each of the containers started for the given service, right? So here we are going to define number of services under services, right? Now it is followed by the service name. So I will say flask app, right? And within Flask app, it's going to be the build context, right? So basically, uh, this Flask app uh, will be the compose name for the build image, right? So going along, then uh, Flask app will be followed by or the service name will be followed by the build. So it's going to be build colon now build accepts the docker file location right so right now the docker file is within the flask app docker directory right oh uh, i think i created a file under flask app but this should be outside the flask app hyphen docker so let me uh, copy this and delete this file from here And I will say new file, save docker compose dot yml and I will paste it over here, right? So here we are. Now the docker file is within the uh, flask app hyphen docker, right? So we have to give the reference of this directory. So it's going to be dot slash. Let me copy this. We'll say rename copy and paste it over here so what it will do is it will automatically pick up the docker file from this directory right so build is also followed by the context below and within context uh, you can pass the same reference path but you can also directly pass the reference path within build without mentioning the context within build right so that's one 
now uh, build will followed by uh, certain parameters that is ports so for example if you want to open certain ports then you can define ports colon then you have to define the mapping over here followed by hyphen and for example you want to open port 8000 so it's going to be 8000 colon 8000 right and you can define likewise number of ports like port 80 colon port 80 so what it will do is it will map the port number 80 of the running container to the port number 80 of the host right so it will expose the port to the host network right so that's how you can define or expose the ports right now ports can be followed by the environment variables if you want to define any environment variables so it can go like environment colon same hyphen and you can define for example you server name right so it can be equal to o dot o dot o dot o or something like this right so server name uh, will have the value equal to o dot o dot o dot o so this is how you can define the environment variable and assign the value using docker compose file right but right now we don't require the environment variable so i'm not going to define it even we don't require ports but uh, i had just keep it there then uh, there are a number of parameters that you can define over here you can read through the documentation of that uh, but here we are going to define the parameters uh, that is uh, actually required for this flask application or for deploying this flask application right now the uh, very last thing is the network mode so it's going to be network underscore mode colon we will say host over here right uh, but there are a number of values that you can define as uh, network mode or I will not say value there are a number of driver that you can define as network underscore mode right so one is host right so basically uh, the host networking driver so this is host is a driver so it only works with Linux host and it is not supported on docker desktop for mac docker desktop for windows or docker enterprise edition for windows server so remember that when you define network underscore mode as host driver it only works on linux operating system and it will not work on mac or windows or anywhere else right so since we are going to deploy this application on an ec2 instance and we have the Linux host over there that is Ubuntu so it's going to work over there right so in case if you're running this application on Mac or Windows then by default it define network mode as bridge right so when we define network underscore mode as host so the docker uses host network uh, within docker container and the container network is not isolated from the host or the system network right but uh, while we define bridge the container network is isolated from the host or the system network so basically if anyone wants to deploy uh, multiple containers with the uh, internal network or the private network then uh, one can opt out for bridge uh, instead of host and if anyone wants to use the same network as host or the system right then one can use the host as a network underscore mode right so as I said the bridge network driver is isolated from the system or the host network right while host network driver does not provide any isolation uh, between the docker network and system or host network right so that's the basic difference between bridge and host so when to use bridge and 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 when to use host right so that's one of the uh, reason that you can opt out for one right one more thing i would like to highlight is that when we define network mode as host right 
the docker will ignore the ports or hyphen p parameter right because by default all the ports are being exposed to the local system or the host system uh, on which the docker is running right so there is no isolation between the actual network and the container network right but uh, while we define bridge we have to expose the ports explicitly so that we can access the docker container local host at certain port uh, within our local system right so at that point of time we have to explicitly expose the ports so i will show you how bridge and host will work uh, once we uh, push this code to the github and once we pull the code to the ec2 instance and start running things right so i will come to that part later so apart from host and bridge uh, you can also define network mode as overlay so basically overlay networks uh, connect multiple docker daemons together and probably enable swarm service to communicate with each other and apart from that you can define network underscore mode as mac vlan right so mac vlan networks uh, allow you to assign a mac address to the container so probably that container will act as the physical device on your system or, or on your network right and probably it will route all the traffic to containers using that assigned mac address right and the last option is that network underscore mode can be set as none it means it will disable all the networking right so that's few of the values that you can assign as network underscore mode so uh, here we are going to use network mode as host but i will show you uh, how we can use bridge and host and expose certain ports or expose our uh, local host to the local system right or i will say expose the local host of the container to the local system right using uh, bridge or host as a network mode right so i will come to that part later so well uh, i think uh, this is all for the docker underscore or docker compose file i will say right and i think we are done with this make sure to read through for the version uh, that we have defined three so if we define version as two it supports uh, up to some version of docker engines so well uh, that's it for this tutorial and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time